In this video, we are going to demonstrate the reinforced concrete column module in SpaceGas by designing some of the columns in this building. Before you can design a column, you must have defined its cross-section and material. Let's double-click one and then open it in the Shape Builder. You can see that it has already been defined as a circular cross-section, which was created by just clicking the circle button and then typing in the desired diameter. If you want to add voids to your column, you can also do it here by defining additional shapes and setting them as negative. In this case, we will add a circular downpipe hole in the center. Note that the concrete column design module will not change the cross section, and so it is up to you to set it here. Before leaving the Properties panel, you should check that the material is set to the desired grade of concrete. If not, you should select it from the Materials Library. As a final check, you could open the Sections and Materials panel and then click each material to verify that it is linked to the correct members. All of the other concrete members in this model have their cross-sections and materials already defined. A number of combination load cases have also been set up, as you can see in the Combinations data sheet. We will now proceed to analyze the model, which is required as a result of the section property change we made earlier. Next, to design a column, we just have to select the members involved and then open the Concrete Column Design tool. It immediately performs a complete reinforcement design and presents it in the Concrete Column Editor. During the design, it considers many possible solutions and then decides on the optimal one based on various preferences that you can control. If you were happy with the design, you could leave it at that and just click OK to save and exit. Or you might want to adjust some of the design parameters or switch to checking mode. Let's examine a few of the controls and panels. We will start by inputting a title so that you can keep track of the column. It's also very important to specify the ultimate load case list correctly. In this case, we will limit the load cases to just the combinations. Note that if you leave the load case list blank, then it will use all load cases. Other settings allow you to control biaxial checks, shear checks, minimum design actions, moment magnification, effective lengths, steel percentages, bar size ranges, and design priorities. Whenever you make a change, the module automatically does a design or a check, depending on the type of change you made. If you would prefer to avoid the short delay that this causes each time you make a change, you should untick the Auto option at the bottom, and then just click the Design or Check buttons whenever you're ready. The status bar at the bottom is colored green if the column passed, red if it failed, or yellow if it passed with a warning. It also includes information about the critical load case, the governing utilization ratio, and the governing failure mode. The panels at the top show the column and its cross-section complete with a reinforcement specification. One of the most useful visual aids is the interaction diagram. The red curve represents the axial versus moment capacity of the column. Other curves show what the capacity would be with different reinforcement ratios. 
the little green dots represent the load cases, which should all fall within the red curve if the column passes. For more information, you can hover over any part of the diagram to get a display of the underlying values, or you can zoom in for a closer look. You might also wish to play around with the checkboxes on the side to turn on extra information. The confinement region, in particular, indicates if extra confinement to the main bars is required under certain code conditions when load cases fall within it. If you wish to perform a check instead of a design, you can just change the reinforcement to suit your requirements. Remember that if the Auto option is ticked, then as soon as you make a change, an automatic check is done and the diagrams and status bar are updated accordingly. As soon as you make any reinforcing bar changes, the column is locked to guard against you accidentally performing a design and consequently losing your changes. If you really want to perform a design on a locked column, you must unlock it first. Before we leave the reinforced concrete column editor, there are a few final things to look at. Buttons on the side let you generate various types of reports, change preferences, or export your column in the form of CAD drawings or images. Assuming that we are happy with the design, we can finish up by clicking the OK button to save and exit. A number of other columns in this model have already been designed, and to see them all, we will now open the Concrete Manager. The Concrete Manager shows all your columns, beams, and footings in the table at the bottom, and lets you open any one of them by double-clicking it in the table. You can also redesign or check all your concrete members in batch mode Change Preferences, and Generate Reports. For more information about the Concrete Manager, view its more detailed video, or read about it in the Space Gas Help. Finally, even if you haven't purchased the Reinforced Concrete Column module, you can still run it in a demo mode that has all features fully activated, but with the cross-sections restricted to predefined dimensions.